last 10 years was really nice life to meet so many people all over the world. Some of the people from the flow are already friends I met in Australia. They want to build up something for the artists and work together with artists. My slogan is don't worry, be better. I like the idea to tell a longer story, dive a little deeper in your music crates. Ich fand das geil, dass was Neues passiert ist mal, endlich nach 30 Jahren Techno. It's a kind of being reborn situation. I have the feeling that the people are connecting a lot at the moment. You're playing a tune and you just change glances or you, you lock eyes and music can be really such a powerful tool to connect with, with other people. Learning how to DJ taught me also yeah. how to handle life and finding that flow, yeah. which is really this magical point where the magic happens. At the end of the day, you can never stop the music. brings the same kind of feeling like electronic music. It's hard because there are so many nice gigs. Yeah. Very much parallels to jazz music. Ich kann mich so ganz schlecht festlegen. Nee, nee. That's the thing. I think there's no other music like electronic music. Da so reingeboren, weil mein Papa war irgendwie auch schon DJ und das habe ich mir in frühester Jugend angeguckt. Ich dachte mir auch, boah, das könnte ich mir auch vorstellen. Du ziehst 
kleine Schätze aus den Tiefen dieser ja. Musikwelt. Man nennt dich ja auch äh, liebevoll den Perlentaucher. Ich bin halt immer ständig auf der Suche nach was Neuem. Also wenn, ich versuche irgendwie jeden Monat ein neues Setup zu liefern. Irgendwie. Ja, wow. Das ist schon, da lege ich schon Wert drauf.
Tell me, how did you start music? What was the moment when you realized, okay, this is my passion? In the beginning, I, I didn't wanted to be a DJ. I met a lot of DJs, organizer, bar owner, restaurants owner, and so I got into the scene. It started with my first drum set that I got from my parents at that point. I yeah. never imagined I would ever DJ and yeah, I guess the modeling like uh, slowly like get me there mm -hmm. by visiting all these places like Ibiza, Tulum, Burning Man. I started to discover all this type of music. There's actually a, a track by, by Dirty During which uh, really just uh, got under my skin and uh, yeah, I was obsessed with that track and um, yeah, so I kind of define that as my little like little, like origin as to when the, the techno seed or the, you know, the deep house seed was planted and yeah, it's uh, been an adventure since then.
My parents are from India. Um, yeah, and, and my name Deep is, uh, is Sanskrit. It means it means light. Uh, and um, yeah, and uh, it works out in uh, you know in, in the context of music as well. So I mean you know maybe in a way I was predisposed for for deeper things. Uh, you know, especially as far as you know um, house music and, uh, and electronic music goes. <laughs> How would you describe a place like Kata Blau or Sisyphos or Wilde Renate or About Blank to an average person on the street? Before or after our clubs, it was inside and dark. One thing is that all these places in Berlin, they, they started out of passion. They all started as a friendship uh, passion project. Sometimes friends coming and then I took them with in the club and it's for the most people, it's mind blowing. I think all of these places have been hugely inspired by Fusion Festival, mm -hmm. for sure, which for us is the, the mother of all festivals. You can be a child, you can be a child. for a whole weekend nice. and, and then you, you go play. back to your fucking serious <laughs> job. <laughs> Bootstour war ja das Ding dieses Jahr hier in Berlin, ne? Ja, auf jeden Fall. Das also, neue heiße Ding. Das, das war das neue Bootstour. Die, die Boote wurden die neuen Clubs geführt. Auf jeden Fall, ja. <lacht> Don't say we wouldn't. 
What do you think? Is the rave culture also a culture? I think electronic music is now 30 years old. 30 years is a long period, so yeah. it's, I think it's, it's a kind of culture, of course. It's not only the music, it's also how they create stages and festivals, how they look like. So there's so many work in the last 30 days from so many people. So uh, I think it's, of course, it's a culture. <laughs> Thank you.
a DJ um, made you travel a lot. Does the environment influence your um, music? Yes, a lot, yeah. yeah. I like music from different cultures and, and this keeps me always yeah, inspired. I feel like music is so magical. It's really something so divine and it really brings us to such a special place in our hearts. Connection, you know, like it plays a role how, you know, how music can be really such a powerful tool to connect yeah. with, with other people, um, people who you, you know, never spoken to or never met ever before. <laughs> Thank you.
know your motto is lost in music. What does it mean to you and when are you lost in music? You're listening to music and the music helps you to forget the bad shit or the day before or something. So, so this is what I'm meaning with lost in music. I always try to make a song that's very happy, but all the time it doesn't work out somehow. I mean, it's not that I'm not happy, but I get very much into this melancholic music. This is kind of what I do automatically. When I start producing, I try to express my feelings and this is maybe what I feel when I do it. In summertime, in the end of summertime, when I play a lot of open airs, I'm really looking forward to the dark club atmosphere because it's more, the sound is more strong and you can play a little bit harder with a little bit more energy. If somebody tells me your music uh, is really good and it sounds different every time, that's one of the, the biggest compliments for me because I um, I like to surprise myself and I also like to pr surprise the audience. I, I'm, I really appreciate the moment, so I never expected much. I never wanted to, to be a super successful DJ or whatever. It just kind of everything happened and um, I was really thankful for that, that I could always live uh, off my passion somehow. And um, yeah, so as long as I can, can still travel the world and, and play in amazing places, um, I'm super happy.
as a DJ, are you more a festival guy or a club person? It's hard to say. I'm, uh, I think more festivals. When the open air season starts, I'm really looking forward to go out yeah. because it's more happy, more bright, and I play more happy and bright. For us also as Bachstelzen Collective, we always try to bring this outdoor vibe into um, yeah, inside, into yeah. off locations or whatever, yeah. to create kind of a festival vibe inside a club. Mm -hmm. When I was at the first Burning Man, I was like equal. Everyone is like also paying for the, to make it happen. There's like camp fees and like everyone gets together to organize this really together. Everyone is putting their heart into it and it's not about the money, it's not about anything. It's just about the experience. <laughs> I'm from France and Switzerland. I was born in Geneva and I grew up there, like right on the border. And then, yeah, at 16, I started to travel around the world and live in like many, I guess, different uh, cities and continents for a few months at a time. And everything eventually led me to music, <laughs> which is my biggest happiness now. Would you say you are a spiritual person? Yeah, I guess there is no one that is not spiritual. We, we all are, whether we realize it or not. And it's only a matter of time until we realize that there is so much more. And when we think about it, kind of, you know, feel and like feel this journey that we can create. And I started digging and I became like so obsessed with the music and at the same time less and less interested with the modeling. I'm spending all my days digging and I love this so much. I should just do this. I just went fully into it yeah. and it's been a wonderful journey.
Berlin is the metropole of uh, electronic music. I think the place is just uh, is you know it just allows for so many different subcultures and niches uh, to exist and um, yeah it's a place where uh, you know like everybody can just come and be themselves. So especially people traveling from all over the world to the nicest festivals yeah. and you meet a lot of people in from different countries. Yeah. I mean, it's the feeling in the end, getting people into a state of mind, living the moment. I mean, that's music is the best tool to just be in the moment, present and to enjoy yourself and mm -hmm. forget about everything else. I get really inspired by all the DJs, actually, and I'm always like super interested to discover new ones. And I try to get just the best of each, like what I like most. I wanted to uh, study design, mm -hmm. but then, um, yeah, I, I also tried to play with records and I liked it. And then it become more and more. People saw me playing and then the next request came and yeah. <laughs> then one came to the other. Yeah.
I like to um, stay colorful and uh, to bring yeah, color to the people. Maybe my music is not so happy always. I have also dark moments, but I like to play with moments, with the emotions.
streaming is a really good thing at the moment because the people they cannot really go out like in the past and you can yeah it's I, I really miss the people but in the end um, I do the best of it <laughs> change anything about the music industry with the project Flow Music, what would it be? One of the key drivers uh, and one of the things that, uh, that drew me to the project was um, yeah, that we want to shift the focus of the industry a little bit and make it really about the people who, who create uh, you know, the industry, who create the scene, uh, you know, the artists, the producers, the musicians. At the moment I think it's interesting because it's going back to, to booking more local people, to being a little bit more underground. I really appreciate that people start thinking in new, different ways. That's always nice, I think. Everyone is putting their heart into it and it's not about the money, it's not about anything, it's just about the experience and the love and the moments that are created there are just so unique. <laughs> scene comes back in the way that we know it as you know might not be exactly how it was but maybe that's not a bad thing either I think this is a kind of an unplanned but I think a very important kind of pause and reset uh, time that we're in right now man musste ja irgendwie bis 22 Uhr danach war Schluss das fand ich total super irgendwie das fand ich schon sehr interessant also vielleicht kann daraus ja irgendwas entwachsen also nächstes Jahr dann mal gucken Yeah, I think you have to stay yourself and to check out what is your power and you have to do what you enjoy in the end. Yeah, Also the clubs and the, because we are all in the same boat and we, to support is the best that we can do. At some point it gave me a different perspective on the things and I realized a lot of uh, things that I can improve for myself. I feel like everyone is yeah, becoming more and more conscious. It's just gradual, all together we are just like rising. <laughs> when we start to act towards that, for that, for the others, then that's when everything works, you know, beautifully and flows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> finding the flow. <laughs>